Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is our wild card reading. Guys, let's find out who's coming forward for my wild cards. We're going to jump into your person's headspace. We're going to find out what they're thinking about right now. Let's see if they got any concerns, any main concerns, anything they want to bring out. Or they're concerned about your connection or being able to connect with your relationship. It's for my wild cards. Ooh, we've got one standing up. We've got judgment card. Hmm, judgment. Perspective. Someone's perspective. Worried about someone's opinion and perspective. What else? What else? Right there. Knight of Wands, the mover. Somebody's wanting to take some action and move. They got some desire. Uh, and you know, our wand does represent our, sometimes our passionate energies that fuel and motivate us in a physical way. Then we have the high priestess. Wow. Keeping something secret. Hang on. Let's clarify. Oh, got a nine of swords. Obsessing over something. The empress. Hang on. Clarify my empress for me. So our Empress amplifies King of, uh, King of Swords over thinking things, uh, analyzing, being professional about things. Somebody has got some definite um, anxiety, stress uh, that they're keeping hidden. <laughs> yeah, uh, and their their biggest concern right now is their pers perspective how they are picking up your energy are they reading your energy right are they, you know they making assumptions about th things about you uh, they're definitely overthinking that empress card is the amplifier of overthinking and abundance of what stress anxiety overthinking way overthinking way too much in their head and they've probably got numerous um scenarios they're telling themselves about your energy anticipating the worst that you you're moving to getting up being that mover moving on so oh they definitely got some worry that they're not gonna be able to to continue in a connection with you um, Either they're not voicing it or they're afraid you're not voicing and, you know, just, um, how I'll put it, just hanging out in the connection until something better comes along. That would be the way to put it. So, they're, they're not able to trust their own intuition. Let's see your energy from their perspective. How are they seeing my wild cards right now? Hmm. From their perspective, we got the chariot card, battle wagon, just determination. What else? Show me more. Mm. Seven of Wands. Courage block protecting yourself. What else? What else? Wheel of Fortune. There's one more sticking here with it. And the star card, looking to the future with hope. So basically, what from your person's perspective, this is not how you see yourself, my wild cards. This is how your person is seeing you. It's from their perspective. It helps us to understand what they're thinking and feeling. It's real to them. <laughs> yes, it is. From their perspective, you this is you, you're got a wall up, a wall of defense. Uh, you got determination, and uh, you get ready to take a new direction at any moment. They can't tell what what direction you're going in, and when something better comes along, you will be hitting that star portal of future and be gone. So, yeah, we've got somebody worried about you, actually. You know, they're anticipating you leaving them. Let's pick up the energies between us. Let's see what the energy is between us. And, we're, like I said, we're doing it from their perspective. The Magician card coming in under that night, that mover. Passage card, Six of Swords. The Empress card. Let's see what our Empress is, is emphasizing here for us. Right here it is. 
judgment. Ooh, so most definitely because we got judgment up here. The big thing is uh, they can't tell what you're thinking or feeling. They're unsure about it. Their mind's running amok with them, telling them all kinds of things of you're going to find someone better, you're going to move on, things like that. And that at any time with our chariot and that six of swords, you're going to be gone. You're going to be gone. And the magician card... Uh, is, is saying is basically saying that we're just temporarily there until we manifest something better for ourselves. Let's see their energy. Let's see their energy. Hmm. Six of Cups. Innocence and nostalgia. But also the past. Card of the past. Hmm. Let me see what else. Mm, we're getting sixes on them. Six of wands. Spotlight victory. Hold on. Victory. That victory, that card owes, you know, <laughs> success. How successful have they been? Queen of wands and, uh, are big influence. Clarify. Queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy. And heartache. So basically with this, what it's telling me is this person in the past, in their past, they have uh, not been so successful. Uh, what's influencing these thoughts, this monkey brain chatter, this concerns that they do have is it, the pattern of having someone realistically. <laughs> yeah, our queen of pentacles is... Uh, someone broke their heart, big time broke their heart. And, you know... And they are worried, worried, worried about you because uh, that Queen of Wands energy would, whether you're, uh, what your gender is or, you know, male, female, it doesn't matter. You're the big influence right now, but they're also being influenced by their past baggage that they're carrying with them where they've been hurt before. And it's causing uh, a lot of stress, anxiety in the head way too much. Nine of Swords up here. So, yeah, a lot of fearful thoughts and scenarios running through their head. Okay, wild cards. Let's pull the Romance Angel Oracles. Let me get this deck woke up. I'm going to ask your higher self to give you cards from this deck. Uh, and we're going to read across these energies. We're going to read your energy, energy between you and their energy. What will your higher self give you from these cards let's see what's going to come out with these on your energy on your energy the way you're being perceived this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek this could be the one so your higher self is telling you regardless of it to, to un, try to understand how they're seeing what's influencing um that the stressful, uh, worried thoughts are they keeping it secret uh, from you that they that this is constantly in their thoughts that you know you're gonna break their heart, you're gonna be like just like somebody else and break their heart. Uh, if they're not talking about it, it's going to display in their behavior. So, energy between us, and this one didn't want to go back in, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, that will help. That will actually help heart-to-heart -heart conversations. What else here on their energy? What's your higher self? Ooh, we got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Is to recognize that they this person is having to clear that energy and forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, your higher self is basically telling you that this person is worth sticking with, it's just uh, being open and understanding of what all this stress is, what's influencing this. They're serious. They have serious feelings towards you. And now it's triggered uh, the vulnerability of what's happened to them in the past. Let's give your person a chance to give you a brief message. Two or three cards. Which deck do they want to use? My wild cards. Wild cards. 
Ooh, the butterfly deck. We're going with it. It's the light side of the message card. Uh, wild card card man, step forward, please. Let's do some brief messages. And I don't have a whole lot of room to shuffle in. Let's move it up. Wait the deck up. Wild card person. Brief message, please. Brief message. There we go. Brief message. Ooh, here it goes. I wish I knew how you really feel about me. Mm -hmm. Do you think of me? Do you think of me? You've changed my life forever. Mm -hmm. Just know, like I said, this Queen of Wands, uh, Divine Feminine Aries energy is an influence, big influence that, you know, that's coming in. I can't get you off my mind. Yeah. Yeah, overthinking your is always on their mind now because they have serious feelings. Okay, let, guys, let's go ahead. Pull a romance. What is this? Not romance. Lover's oracles. We haven't done these in a while. This is for my wild card. This is for my wild cards. Ooh, you're standing up right here. Two of them. Who do a take on, guys? Be aware. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are both qualities you possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Mirroring, mirroring. So, are we mirroring in this fear? If we are, heart-to-heart -heart conversations will help when we know that we're both understanding how where each other's coming from. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Oh, I love that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.